Melissa Render here. I'm the VP of Exploration for Newfound Gold. Uh, we have another exciting showcase for you here today as part of our deep drilling program that we initiated earlier this year. This hole is 2112. This hole was drilled into the southern extents of the Keats Baseline Fault and then pushed out well beyond into the Appleton Fault Zone and into the Hanging Wall. This area was initially targeted because of where the Keats Baseline would interact with the Appleton, so an area that we've always thought would be highly prospective. This hole is a further 1.2 kilometers along the strike from the Bull 1304. The gold mineralization in hole 2112, like 1304, is some of the deepest gold mineralization intercepted on the Queensway project to date, with gold mineralization ranging in vertical depths from about 585 meters to about 770 meters, uh, with even some low-grade material continuing beyond that at depths as great as 810 meters vertical. And there's multiple zones throughout this hole that I'll walk you through here, starting with the first intervals at about 815 meters down hole. And at the upper portions here, even though we did have some veining, some quartz above this with a bit of visible gold, really the intensity of veining increases at about 815 meters down hole that you can see here. There's an abundance of quartz. Uh, it's the quartz that tends to carry the gold here at Queensway. We have an influx of sulfide mineralization, so seeing the arsenopyrite and the pyrite and the boulangerite throughout this interval. We've got some very nice big breccia veins, this one here of over about a meter in length. And then visible gold coming into this kind of stockwork style mineralization at just over 830 meters. So a nice mineralized domain over about 20 meters or so. And then from there, continuing down hole to push this hole out deeper to the Appleton, which we did encounter at about a kilometer depth that you'll see here. This again would be the deepest intercept into the Appleton that we've had. I should say too, this interval up here, we are still not certain of its relationship to the Keats baseline, but something we will be actively working to um, understand as we continue to drill uh, in this area. Through the Appleton, we pushed this drill hole. It's is, uh, very typical of the Appleton Fault, highly sheared, broken up and dismembered quartz veins, a lot of fault gouge. So we're quite confident that this is the Appleton just based on how we've seen it elsewhere on the property. And then continuing through the Appleton, we run into another quartz vein interval at about 1,016 meters. Quite a broad expanse of massive stylolytic quartz veins with fine disseminated gold that you can see where these ribbons are marking out throughout it. A lot of sulfide mineralization in the host rock, so the arsenopyrite and the pyrite once again, uh, with boulangerite in the quartz vein. This interval stays quite strong through to about 1,030 meters, so about a 15 meter wide, pretty intense quartz veined interval. This zone itself is about 775 meters vertical depth, and it continues down to about 1,080 meters, but with less intense mineralization. So about a 60 meter wide interval of mineralization with varying intensity. And we are now excited to be embarking on our first directional drilling program. This is a new technology for us that we have yet to use at Queensway. This will allow us to utilize deep holes such as this to fan from and increase our efficiency in getting more pierce points and intercepts around deep zones. So please stay tuned for additional results from our deep drilling program. Thank you for joining.